Faith is not hoping that God will, it's knowing that God will. This is CC Essentials Week 21. It's time for spelling rules! Most of the time, make a noun, plural by adding the ending S, unless a word hisses or changes, then add ES. Some nouns have no change or an irregular spelling like deer, children, fish, feet. Regular examples are toys, boxes, stories, cats, glasses, knives. To make a verb, singular at the ending. As some as the word is or changes, then add es. There are only four irregular verbs, meaning when they're in past tense, they have a different ending than any like has, does, goes, is. Examples, she reads, it hisses, he carries, have, as opposed to has. Punctuation and capitalization. Rules. No new rules, just reviewing rules from weeks five and six. So in week five, we learned about abbreviations. Abbreviations end with a period except for state names and metric units of measure. So, for example, if you were writing inch, you would put IN with no period or centimeter CM with no period. If you were writing Texas, TX with no period or North Carolina, NC with no period. But if you were writing the abbreviation of doctor, which is D-R instead of D-O-C-T-O-R, you would put D-R, period. From week six, we learned that most possessive nouns end with apostrophe S if singular or S apostrophe if plural. Possessive pronouns do not require an apostrophe. So remember, possessive pronoun, singular. Mine, yours, scissors, it's singular. Possessive pronouns, plural. Ours, yours, theirs, plural. Those ones don't get an apostrophe. Um, you would add the apostrophe in most cases after the S if you are showing ownership of multiple things like if you have multiple cars in this case then you would put the apostrophe after the s to show that all of these horns don't just belong to one car but to many or um, if you are talking about a word that is already plural like ocean is already plural then you would put an apostrophe before the s to show that the word following it belongs to the ocean the waves belong to the ocean. All right. It's time for home song practice. Rap and rap. The bad rap gave the restaurant a bad rap, as in reputation. Tale and tale. Prince Caspian is an intriguing tale which includes a rat who is very proud of his tail. Principle and principle. A principle rule in life is to always follow the right principles. <laughs> Moving on to our charts, starting with chart P. A compound complex sentence consists of at least two independent clauses joined by a subordinate clause. And remember our four structures, simple compound complex, compound complex. And we use the Spice Girl to want to be tuned to remember what goes in each one of those. So I'll tell you what structure I want, what I really, really want. I'll tell you what structure I want, what I really, really want. I want to, want to, want to. Wanna, I want a simple sentence with a subject and a predicate. If I want it compound, I gotta add a fanboy. If I want it complex, I add a who or which or a subordinate conjunction to make it compound complex. I've gotta add a who or which.
potential or a subordinate conjunction and a fanboy. Now for today, let's use the examples of imperative sentences down here in the bottom right. So subject, verb, and transitive. Because you love, forgive, and pray. Subject, verb, direct, object. Jesus, save us and forgive us because you love us. Subject, verb, link, and predicate. Nominative. Jesus, be my savior and be my God because you are love. Subject, verb, link, and predicate. Adjective. Be humble because Jesus is humble and be patient. Subject, verb, indirect, object. Direct object, as you give me strength, give me hope, and give me joy. Subject, verb, direct object, object, compliment, noun. Jesus, since you proclaim me a new creation, call me your child and call me your friend. Subject, verb, direct object, object, compliment, adjective. As you called me beloved, make me holy and call me redeemed. Chart Q, I have... Found a video to help us with this from Clifton Bird. Check it out. Chart Q verbals. A verbal is a verb that is used as another part of speech. An infinitive is to plus a verb used as a noun, adjective, or adverb. To fly is my desire. It goes up on a pedestal. A gerund is a present participle verb form used as a noun. Flying is my desire. It's on a step on a pedestal. A participle is a verb, usually ending in ed. E-n, t-or, i-n-g used as an adjective. <laughs> Flying machines are fascinating. It goes underneath what it modifies. A verbal is a verb that is used as another part of speech. A verbal is a verb that is used as another part of speech. And chart H, a conjunction is a word used to connect words, phrases, and clauses together. Coordinating conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Coordinating conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions, for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Correlative conjunctions always come in pairs and connect words of equal importance. Either, or, neither, nor, both, and, whether, or, not only, but, also, not, but, woo, woo. Conjunctive adverbs accordingly, besides, consequently, furthermore, and however, indeed, moreover, meanwhile, nevertheless, similarly, still, therefore, thus, conjunctive adverbs, and then subordinating conjunctions, we know them through IEW as when, while, where, as, since, if, although, whereas, unless, because, and we've also previously learned extra subordinating conjunctions with this song. Wow, if, since, how, because, Ramble. only if, now, that, even though, I've always got my wishbone. Yeah. To help me with this mission, to help me with this mission. Go again. Wow, if, since, how, because, only if, now, that, even though, I've always got my wishbone. Yeah. To help me with this mission, to help me with this mission. Yo, this is my song, subordinate conjunctions, a word to like to introduce, that's the primary function, connect them to a subject and link them to a verb and the support of the clause is now ready to go to work yo it's other than the clause is never independent the thought that's incomplete will forever be dependent it can't stand alone man it 
always needs attention So mix it with a main clause to make a complex sentence So again, wow, if, since, how, because, only, if, now, that, even though I've always got my wishbone Yeah! Tell me with this mission, tell me with this mission Go Yeah. And there's no new IEW vocabulary this week. I just thought that I would show you. Um, IEW has what's called a triac method um, for writing body paragraphs, particularly for persuasive um, writing tasks or expository or research writing tasks. And TRIAC stands for Topic, Restriction, Illustration, Analysis, and Clincher. What's on my screen is for more advanced writers, for beginning writers. Um, here's all that you will want to remember when you're sharing the topic restrictor illustration analysis clincher and there's um, a few important considerations bulleted at the bottom that's it peace out bye okay bye